Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mooli and welcome to another review video. And by seeing the title and thumbnail, you already know that today I will be reviewing this Quaskov Monocure Hyaluronic Shampoo. Let's start off from the basic things which is the pricing and the quantity that you will be getting. Now whenever you will purchase anything from Monocure range in specific, you will pay 900 rupees for 250 ml which is a little bit expensive and they barely give you any discount so far. I got mine from Foxy and that time I had to pay full amount. Also I have got a little product for free which eventually I have finished up. Now coming back to this one, this is Hyaluronic Moisture Kick Micellar Shampoo and this one is supposed to tame down your frizz if you have normal to dry to curly hair. Now I have something to start off with. This shampoo does not change your hair texture. So the main purpose of this shampoo is not to remove your dandruff but to tame down your frizz and to provide you some moisture that our hair needs because it loosens with time. So if you are someone who is facing a lot of dryness, damage on your hair then you are supposed to buy this. I am going to talk about my personal experience, what I have felt when I have used this for the first time. You don't need a lot of it. Compared to the keratin shampoo which I have previously reviewed and in that review basically all of you have told me to try out this product and to let you know if I liked it or not. Although I was shying away to try out this product because the previous shampoo that I have tried from Squatchbox was not really good for my hair concern because I have shared mine and a lot of you were actually saying that it does that not that one and all of that so I was like yeah maybe I have some problem that's why I'm not gonna try out another thing but a lot of you have actually said that yeah I have faced the same problem as well so I was like okay now I'm getting good response a lot of people have faced the same problem as me so now I can try out this product so that's why I went ahead and bought this first of all Squash Proof itself is a very 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 high-end brand it's made in Germany and you have to pay a lot of money to purchase this product this shampoo is for normal to dry hair it never says that it's gonna remove the dandruff or the dead skin cells that you build up over on your scalp now I'm gonna talk about my first impression my first time experience what I have felt when I have applied it for the first time now I have used it for like seven to eight times so I have a very 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 strong opinion about this product which I'm gonna share with you but before that let's move on to my first experience The formula with cell perfector technology and hyaluronic acid derivative works to restore the hair structure while providing deep hydration to rebalance and help retain the optimum moisture level for soft, supple and nourish hair full of health, shine and natural bounce application. Work into wet hair, rinse, keep it out of direct sunlight, salon exclusive. I need to tame down the frizziness and the dryness from the bottom section. That's why I can feel like it is doing a little bit of job in that way. So as you have seen, it does not remove any dandruff so far. And this is the day when I have applied my shampoo as well. And as you guys can see, my hair is still like a little bit damp. I am spending 12 hours to dry out my hair after a shampoo in this heavy cold. But still, there is no removing of dandruff, which I knew that it's gonna happen. But still I had some expectations some way or the other. I have my reasons for that. Although it has hyaluronic acid derivatives and all of that, it still contains sulfate. If you go through the ingredients, you will see it has sodium laureate sulfate. This is not a sulfate free shampoo by any means. So it wasn't foaming up that much but still as it had sulfate as the second ingredient in the list I thought that this will remove a little bit of dandruff not a lot lot because I accumulate a lot of dandruff because I come from the dry scalp even if it is not supposed to remove any dandruff or anything it was supposed to remove a little bit of dirt too but eventually it did not overall if you ask me I really like this because I like how it tamed down my frizziness although this is not my regular hair that I have born with I have wavy dry hair if you haven't checked my previous shampoo experience I will leave it up in the eye you can go ahead and check that one out right now it's chemically treated it has been gone through smoothening and keratin treatment as well so I don't genuinely need a keratin shampoo keratin based shampoo to tame down all the frizziness because I don't deal with frizziness as much as I used to deal I still have a lot of frizziness over on my bottom section like the tail of my hair because I have pre lightened hair so it literally have no protein keratin nothing if you are using it then you have to use 
another shampoo after three to four days. So if you have got problems like hair fall, accumulating dirt, accumulating a lot of dandruff, having a lot of itchiness on the scalp, this product is not going to help on those. For me, I will definitely be repurchasing it, but I need a backup sulfate shampoo, which will help me to remove all the dirt and the dandruff from my hair. And if you are using those sulfate shampoo, that actually helps to dry your hair to the possibly highest level. So if you are someone who is not willing to go through this smoothening, keratin treatment, then this one comes in handy. Previously, I had a very mediocre experience with the previous mask. Like I found it really mediocre. You know, I have tried so many masks over on my life. That's why I was like, you know what, let me taste it out and then I will be buying the mask. But now I think I'm going to invest in the mask as well. And I will let you know how I feel about that as well. But yeah, that's all I had to say for this shampoo. This was such a quick update about the shampoo that I'm currently using it up. So I was like, you know what, let's share a very real opinion with you guys. I will put all the links in the description box below like Amazon, Nika and Foxy, wherever you can get a little bit of discount if you want to try this one out and if you don't have a lot of money but still you want to try this one out because it's such a good product i did not come across such a product which actually tames down my frizziness but surprisingly it did so that's why i'm recommending this to you so you can go ahead and check different e-commerce platforms out which is giving right now good discount it's time to sign off and i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did you know the drill don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon so whenever i will post any new videos in future you will get a notification of that and if you want to check my socials out i have linked down in the description box as well you can go ahead and check that one out and i will see you guys on the next one till then i love you all so much stay happy stay beautiful and stay safe bye